Hey, what is good with y'all? It's your boy King Avery, and today we are discussing uh, Emily Rogers' post that she put out on WordPress. And by the way, if you're wondering what the game is that is running in the background, uh, that is Grow Home. Uh, you can play it on PC if you want to. Um, I won't leave a link to the description in the bottom because I have no idea where I even found that game. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's discuss what she has to say. Uh, she said, why you should be excited about the NX software output. So instead of focusing our attention solely on hardware, we should really be having a discussion about NX software. Based on things I've heard, I am 100% confident that the NX software output will blow away the Wii U software output, which was never impressive to begin with, which she does have a point in there. We didn't really get that many games throughout the year. Um, well, should I say throughout the few years that the Wii U has been on the market, we really didn't get that much. Although we did get some great titles like Splatoon and Mario Maker and some other ones that I cannot think of right off the top of my head, such as like Bayonetta and stuff like that. Oh, and Smash. Who cannot forget Smash? Anyways, um, she also goes on to say, The big fundamental focus point and overall goal behind the NX is to vastly increase the software output from Nintendo's first party teams and studios. To accomplish this, the entire process of how Nintendo develops and produces software has gone through radical changes. There is a new strategy that was put in place to create and release first party software at a faster rate. Multiple unannounced Wii U projects were moved over to NX and the NX could potentially see the highest output of first party software in the company's history. And she's saying that she's talking about the entire lifespan of NX, not just one or two years. So, with that being said, so that was kind of like a brief little uh, description of what she's saying. And I will also leave a link to that in the description. That way y'all can read over the article for yourself. Now, she made a couple of points here. The big fundamental focus point will be behind an NX is to vastly increase the software output from Nintendo's first party teams. Now, that's a good thing and it's a bad thing. The reason why it's a good thing is we'll get more games more often. Now, as y'all all know, the Wii U, we had a huge drought and we're still having a huge drought of games. So it's like every other or three or four months we get like a real game from Nintendo, which is pretty, pretty stretched out, especially considering when you do not have third-party support. When you don't have third-party support, that just makes the whole thing a very long, drawn-out process, and you find yourself picking up a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One because you have no games to play. And honestly, that is the truth. Now, that's a good point that we'll get more games, but it's a bad point because they said that this is a focal point. But their focal point should be on getting third-party support. If you don't have third-party support there, then you're not going to push as many consoles. So they really need to focus on having first and third-party support, as well as they need their games to come out at a decent pace without actually lowering the quality of the game. Because when you're putting out a bunch of games very fast, you know, trying to fill in gaps, you end up with games like Animal Crossing Happy Home Studio. You know, that's what happens when you put out a ton of games. And we don't want those games. We want good quality games that we come to expect from Nintendo. Not just a bunch of quick little games to kind of whet people's appetite for the next big game. In other words, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, she also goes on to say that Wii U projects were moved over to the NX, which is pretty much a given. We all know that Zelda is getting moved over. We haven't heard anything about Metroid, so I'm assuming that got moved over as well. And as y'all all know, there was a rumor earlier on about Luigi's Mansion, and that also getting moved over because it was going to be arriving too late in the Wii U's lifespan. So they moved it over to the NX, as well as you have Pikmin 4, which is also missing, and you have Animal Crossing, also missing. I mean, there's a lot of big games that didn't show up this year. 
or should I say, these past few years. Granted, we got, you know, the Yoshi and Kirby and Smash, which I believe they're actually supposed to be moving that over to the NX as well as the definitive version. But anyways, this is pretty much what we have here that Emily Rogers has put out. Just a quick little, brief little paragraph. Um, if y'all want to go ahead and read the whole thing for yourselves, I will leave it in the description. That way you can check it out. And um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and also like this video. Let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes. Anyways, I'm your boy King Avery and I'm signing out. Peace.